Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna try to fix my visor. It's uh, it's loose. This is a factory visor from 2002. There's a missing bolts. Some bolts that are just like so loose that you can't tighten. And the whole thing on the highway, you can't tell here, but at like 70 miles an hour, it's pretty wild. So to do so, unfortunately, you gotta pull the whole headliner out so I can see what's under here. I don't know if it's like a two pane piece or I'll have to drill, but I'm I'm replacing the carpet. My old carpet is very gross. So I figure at the same time while I have that out, I can take like all these plastic pieces out to get access to drop this headliner. I have it all disconnected except for this uh, one A pillar left. I'm gonna clean all this out, but I'm gonna drop this, uh, I'm gonna pull the tuner out and drop this A pillar so I can get access to the bottom bolts here so I can see what they look like. For the tool I'm using, it's an Astro 1452. It's a, nut, a riv riveter, like a nut cert. So it comes with different size inserts for different size screws. And basically, you would rivet this through the top sheet metal, like a regular rivet, but then it's threaded, threaded inside. And then I'll be able to put the, the screws in from the top. All right, I got the headliner out. These look exactly like the thing I'm gonna put in. The factory. So there's four across, there'll be one basically under here in front of this one because they go in twos. I believe, let me check again. Yeah, so it's two, two. So there's eight total. But the ones I still had in there are just completely spinning free. So I guess I had to go a size, size bigger. But now I'm gonna uh, use a vice grip and grab this and be able to pull the old ones out. All right, so far I got seven of these out. These are all loose, loose. If they're not missing, they're loose. On that side, the second one in, closer to the back, was actually tight. So since the uh, one of them was missing, this one was missing on the front outside and the front outside on that side. I only have this one left right now, but since these holes are so big and I'm missing two, two outer ones, and I think that one's stripped, that one's loose and this one's loose. I have enough space to go up in the next bolt size and I'm gonna have to get a washer as big as I can in there. I'm not gonna have an oval washer like how these are. They're thin aluminum anyway with like a rubber underneath. So I'm gonna get some rubber and I guess whatever this is a one inch wide washer, it's a little bit more. I'll measure that. My problem right now is uh, under here, I got that one out, but that front one is inside, inside here in this channel. Now I'm, I'm gonna try to get in here with a long, long needle nose, but I can't even see it really. It's in there somewhere. So I might have to actually drill. It's gonna be right in front of us. So I might have to drill a little hole to get pliers in there or vice grips. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna have to run to the store right now. It's getting dark out and it's starting to just barely rain a little bit, but I need to get this Riv nutted back in and get this sealed for tonight. I'll check in after I get back with the uh, eight screws. I'm gonna take this, I don't know what size it is, but I'll tell you when I get back. All right, I got the visor off. The back ones are in through the, through where the headliner is. These are just raised little arches. So the front four just raised arches. This one's rusted out. I'm going to see if the larger rivet nut will have enough meat on the bone there to rivet that in. But they're all just uh, raised. I have this wire just protected for right now. I still haven't gone to the store. It just got dark and rained. I had to bring everything in, but I'm going to grab the bigger. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I guess the bigger one will grab onto that. But Or I can just have seven. It's better than I haven't two and a half or whatever I had before. To get these uh, out of the roof, I just used a 3 8 drill bit 
and drilled down on it and it split apart and they would pull out. So the next one I need to drill a 7 16 for it to fit. And it's pretty close already. So I just have to basically just make the hole a slight, slightly bigger. It almost fits, I think, a couple holes. Before I, I bent these up with lineman pliers, I bent these flat. I think there may be one hole that actually does fit because it was like wobbled loose. So I'm going to drill these 7 16 in here and then I'll show how I use the tool to put these in. <clears throat> Sorry about the noise, the neighbor's backing up the trailer. Put the uh, rib, rib nut on the gun slide it in the hole, make sure it's all the way screwed tight. Go until it feels pretty strong. Let's check the bottom. Looks good down there. Then you're gonna unscrew it. Solid. Grab the camera. It's not going anywhere. It's really strong. You could run a little line of silicone on the bit on the uh, rib nut before you put it in too. All right, I'm gonna do the other seven. I'm gonna have to run and get Loctite because my Loctite broke and spilled everywhere before I put the visor back on. Um, previously, this screw went through this aluminum washer to this rubber, which is actually like a flexible rubber. As, that, as you can see, they kept tightening it down and pulling the center of that out as it got looser, so it failed and it bubbled like that. So as they tightened it, it got more uh, gap for the wind to bend it. So like that one's pretty straight. That one's really bent. A couple are missing. So I have one, two, yeah, like three are missing. So these are the new bolts I got. They're M8 to fit that rivnut, 125 in Home Depot. They're like a buck each or something like that. And you have to go in those drawers. I got a 3 8 washer. The outer diameter is an inch that fits in the uh, in the visor. So let's see here. If I put this in there, it's like the same width as, as wide as I can go. And I wanted to put, since I'm doing steel directly on the fiberglass piece, I wanted to put rubber. So I got these floor mats. And what I'm going to do is, I cut this one already, but you trim these to fit a car. So I'm just going to cut these off. I'm going to use this rubber, trace out eight of these, and then, I don't know, use that for something. And then I'm going to lock tight all these screws down. And then my theory is this won't deteriorate and it won't, it won't flex once you compress it. It's got like a tiny amount of flex, but not really. And then I got the heat shrink for the plug. I don't know if that's gonna fit yet, but I basically don't want to have to drop the headliner and do this again. So these bolts compared to the the new ones are a lot heavier duty, and they're about the same length. If you think that that bolt would be either about there, I did get longer ones. I got 30s just because I have more rib nuts, and I don't know if I need longer ones for the front. But they didn't have eight of either or so I got like six and five or something like that all right uh next I'm gonna plug in that plug I'm gonna cut these I'm gonna cut these out plug in that plug do the heat shrink and I'll jump back when uh I'm lock tightening these bolts done all right I'm not sure where I left off but this is the next day I uh 
I've got this all on. It's on there pretty good. So hopefully that doesn't vibrate now. That's that rubber under there. I got these torqued down pretty good. I got the carpet in. So I have to reassemble this whole thing, but uh, hope that helps someone. I ended up, since I had six 25s and two 30 millimeters, I ended up putting the, the bigger ones in the outside back, but it doesn't matter. All of them will fit. The 30 mil will fit or 25 will fit. I hope that helps someone. Also, I didn't notice these captain's chairs. Whenever you take out your interior, it's all in one bench, so they take the console off and then they have to take out both uh, captain's chairs at the same time. If you guys like this video uh, and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys.